hello and welcome to crack sew it today in this video i'll be showing you a step by step guide on how to install g apps on any android device running on android 12 13 14 or any custom rom based on vanilla build that does not come with google service like google play store gmail google photos drive maps and more i'll guide you for both encrypted and decrypted devices and by the end of this video you will have your device fully equipped with all the google services you need so let's get started as you can see i have installed sea droid 9.2 rom on my phone and this is running on android version 13 and this phone is encrypted so at first i'll show the process for encrypted phone and then for decrypted one and you can see there is no play store on my device so the first thing that you need to do is to manage and install a browser on your device. You can install browser like Firefox but Google Chrome browser will not work as it's from Google itself. I had a backup of Firefox browser on my micro SD card so I'll install it from here. Now you need to search Nick G apps and then you will find its official site link. Simply tap on it. Here you will find a download button, tap on it and it will redirect you to its download page. So simply tap on this download now button. After this you will be redirected to source force site. Here you will find three options, simply tap on this releases folder and then list of many sub folders will appear. Here it is showing support from Android P to Android T. Basically Android P is Android 9 and Android T is Android 13. So we are going to install G apps on Android 13 ROM and in similar way you can install G apps on any Android version of custom ROM. So simply tap on Nick G apps T and then it will show the list of dates and we need to select the latest one. So this March 1 February 2023 is the latest one so I'll tap on it. Ok now it's showing the list of all the version of Nick G apps and you can use any one you like. If you just want to have play store app then you can use core version and if you want all the google apps then you can choose full versions. And the file size will vary according to your file type. So for now I'll click on this core version of Nick G apps then it will redirect to another page and it's saying software download may not be possible on this device. So now what we have to do is we need to load this page on desktop site. So tap on three dots and select desktop site option. Then the site will reload to desktop mode and then it will start its downloading process. And if it asks for permission then simply give access to the necessary permissions. So in this way you can download Nick G apps for your Android 13 or any other Android version of custom rooms. After downloading, make sure to keep that Nick G apps file on your micro SD card if your device is encrypted. You can also use OTG or ADB side load method too and I have already kept almost all version of Nick G apps on my micro SD card. So now reboot your phone to custom recovery mode and different phone have different methods to reboot to recovery. So after rebooting to recovery mode, you can see I have Orange Fox custom recovery installed and the internal storage is encrypted. So this is the method for encrypted rooms and after this, I'll also demonstrate the process for decrypted phones as well. So here in custom recovery, go to wipe section and select Dalvik cache and cache option and swipe right to wipe. And after this, go back to files section and tap on this drop down arrow to select secondary storage micro SD card and tap on micro SD card and go to the location where you have kept Nick GF's zip file. I have kept in this Nick GF's folder, so I'll tap on it and you can see I have stored all the version of Nick GF's, but you need to download just one of them. And for now I'll tap on this stock Nick G apps and swipe right to install it and this installation process will take few minutes so I'll fast forward this process. So almost after one minute the installation process is completed. Now we need to go back again and then enter into wipe section. Here you will see format data simply tap on it and type yes and tap on that tick mark to format your internal storage. So this format is needed for encrypted phone otherwise G apps will not work properly on your device. 
and this formatting process is only needed for encrypted devices so now simply reboot phone to system and after some time your phone will reach to boot setup and i'll fast forward this boot setup as well so finally i am inside the home screen of my phone and on its app drawer you can see it has installed lots of google apps on my device which were not present earlier and every google apps are functioning properly so in this way you can install gapps on encrypted rom and if you want to check the encryption status then simply go to settings enter into security setting and below you will find encryption section and inside you can see the encryption status of your room so now let's see how to install g apps on decrypted rooms and as you can see i have decrypted my device and it is not certified now so there is no play store in it so for decrypted phones go to custom recovery section and go to wipe section select dalvik cas system vendor and data and swipe right to wipe them then go back and enter into file section this rom is not encrypted so you can see the internal storage as well but i have kept my necessary files on sd card but you can do from internal storage as well on decrypted roms so from here we need to select three files at once the first file is the custom rom zip file on which you are going to install g apps and i have stored cr droid rom file in this roms folder second file is nick g apps that we have downloaded earlier and is inside this nick g apps folder and the third file is disable dm verity zip file you can search this file for your specific device model on google and you will find it for your phone so i'll select all three files one by one so watch carefully First I'll tap on my room zip file and then I'll tap on this add to queue button and select second file which is nick g apps I'll select the core version for now and again I'll tap on add to queue button to select third file which is disable dm verity zip file so I'll tap on it now I'll swipe right to flash them all and this will flash all three files one by one and will take some time as well so i'll fast forward this flashing process now it's completed so now simply tap on reboot system and phone will start rebooting to the system and in this decrypted rom we don't need to format our phone so now we are inside our home screen as you can see and it has installed google play store on my decrypted android 13 custom rom so in this way you can also download and install g apps on your both encrypted and decrypted android 13 custom roms and one more thing i want to share with you is that on encrypted rom if you faced any error after following my video then you need to flash custom rom first and then flash g apps then after formatting your phone and reboot to system then you won't face any error so thank you so much for watching my video and if you liked my video then don't forget to hit the like button comment down below share this video and subscribe to cracksoid i'll see you in my next video bye